Teledentistry, what is it? Go to teledentistry.operadds.com to find out how you can completely change how we bring in new patients, giving them the ability to send photos and video before you ever talk to them. Go to teledentistry.operadds.com. Welcome to the Operatory Podcast. I am so excited today to have with me an absolutely amazing person, Elijah Desmond, who is a, a hygienist. Uh, so first of all, one of uh, one of the not that many male hygienists. I work with one Marty who's been on the podcast, who's amazing too. But in addition to that, kids motivational speaker, serial entrepreneur, author, and also captain of Smiles at Sea. So thank you very much for being on the podcast, Elijah. Hey, thanks for having me, Brian. I'm super excited to get here. Fresh off of the cruise ship. Just got off. <laughs> you just got done captaining. <laughs> I did. Just got done captaining. Well, you know, we, you know, you're, you're doing so many amazing things, transforming dentistry in a lot of different ways. So we kind of have to, you know, we talked about like honing in on something that is really that you're transforming, you're changing the way it happens in dentistry. And, you know, at the Operatory Podcast, we're about burying the dinosaurs in dentistry, moving past outdated ways of doing things. And you're definitely doing that in the continuing education sector. So can you tell me kind of like, I mean, you're doing a lot in continuing education from, you know, you told me just like got done taking DJ classes, probably so you can motivate kids, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you're doing a ton of stuff, but, but specifically with like Smiles at Sea, and then now you just had dentistry's got talent which is really amazing could you tell our audience kind of what you do and how you do it absolutely well i'll start with i'll start with smiles at sea and then i'll kind of evolve to dentistry's got talent so you know continuing education is different now than it used to be when i just got out of school so i didn't get out of school that long ago you know i graduated from the ohio state university proud um <laughs> uh, 10 years ago uh, in 2009 and just in 10 years, I've watched uh, continuing education transform right between, you know, right between 10 years. Like it was, it's totally different from me now. So I can only imagine how different it was 20 years ago. And I'll tell you the difference is, is that people are not content anymore with going to these massive uh, events uh, and just watching these long lectures um, from the same speakers over and over and over. People want they want something, they want an experience. Um, and, and vendors, they don't want to just be sitting in a, a exhibit hall, um, waiting for somebody to come by their booth and get a piece of free candy or a giveaway. It's not the same. The industry is completely evolving. And I went on this cruise ship <laughs> back in 2014 and I seen the, the energy on the ship. It was just absolutely mind blowing how happy people were. There was a schedule all the time. And, um, I was just obsessed. You know, we're going to somewhere tropical. And I said, man, I'm speaking all over the world as a motivational speaker at the time for kids. Did a little speaking for Invisalign at the time um, as well. But I'm speaking as a motivational speaker for kids. And I'm like, dang, how do I bring speaking or continuing education on a ship? And I, I went out into social media, which is really my space. Um, not my space. <laughs> I don't know if you remember my space. <laughs> I do, right? <laughs> yes, I, I, I didn't just graduate 10 years ago, man. So yeah, <laughs> I remember my space. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, I, I exist today in the industry the way I do because of, of, of social media, because of Facebook. Uh, when I so, so, so social media is everything. So I went into social media, into Facebook, and I said, who would love to do a continuing education event, a conference on a cruise ship? And I'm not kidding you. Within two minutes, I had over 200 comments because people wanted change. And sad enough, I got booted off that Facebook group <laughs> literally within, within a, a, a day or two because I was creating something um, that, that the old guard didn't like too much. Oh yeah, but now 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 you have like how how many face how many Facebook groups are you currently like a manager of like absolutely 50? yeah I mean so so I think it's probably a good thing that they kicked you off yeah yeah absolutely I mean and one of my Facebook groups is is called Trapped in an Op right and, yeah um and and we have sixteen thousand on that group I have, we have so many different groups but anyways the point is is that the cruise started because we wanted to put fun back in education and make it an experience. And, and another thing is we wanted to do is we wanted to make it so the vendors were actually involved. They were a part of it. 
Um, and, and I felt as a vendor myself, owning multiple businesses, I felt that going to conferences, I felt like an outsider. You know, I spent, you know, six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars to go and attend a, fe- uh, um, a dental conference. And I felt like I was given a booth in the corner and I was begging people to come to my, my booth. And it just didn't make sense. And then, oh, by the way, there was a, a party that went on afterwards that a vendor couldn't go to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? It just didn't make sense to me. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to evolve this entire conference industry. And so I started off with this dream and I felt like I got arrows thrown at me multiple ways at first when I started it, right? <laughs> well, that's and, what happens when you're an innovator, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody um, makes fun of you first, right? Yes. I mean, I'm this guy carrying around a boom box with these big, huge dreams and people are like, go away, <laughs> right? And I'm like, no, but I'm actually... I'm doing something fun and, you know, but, but it's creative. It's, it's out of the box, but it's fun. And before you know it, you know, we go from 289 people at our show to the next year we have 500. The next year we have 700. The next year we have 900. And this year we had 1,240 attendees between both of our conferences in the spring and the fall. We sold out on all of our vendor partners. We have a wait list of 15 people. Nobody can get on now, right? So now... We're filling. We're, we're we're on track to fill cruise ships. So by 2023, we're going to fill entire cruise ships. And now we have coined the word dental festival. So hashtag the dental festival. Time of your life. And guess what? Education is fully there. It's involved. We have some of the top speakers, but it's not just we have amazing speakers. We have the new speakers as well. Not just the OGs of dentistry. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's I, I think that's sorely needed. We, we're doing a lot of things like in parallel, mm-hmm. very different than you, because I am not a uh, I'm not not a party master like like like, yeah. like you are, my man. But <laughs> but I but, you know, we're doing uh, bringing like changing online training with, yes. with upgrade de- dental and uh, and we have done something similar to what you're doing with. Historically, we did what are called get it done days. Yeah. Well, my idea was to make regulatory training fun because i i was sat in an, in an osha training for four four hours and it was the first worst four hours of my year and i was like why am i doing this my, to myself right. right and so i i squarely believe in what you're doing with smiles at sea and i i, th- I think that it's hugely needed i go to a ton of dental meetings yeah. like and and i just see the them basically withering on the vine, right? Yeah. They're not, they're not doing well at all. I did go to dense Plastrona world about oh 10. My. Then Amazing. that thing was, I mean, that's, that's Amazing. akin to what you're doing. Right. I mean, not, it's very different because it's focused on, uh, on, you know, kind of my space technology, yep. but, but the reason why it's like the, so much energy there is because it is a party, yep. like, like what you're doing. Right. I mean, maybe not a party like what you're doing, but, but they're, but directionally similar. Do you yeah. agree? Yes, I 100% agree. I freaking love, I love everything about Sarah World. I hope I can go this year. My, my ultimate, I'm not kidding you, Brian. My ultimate goal is to speak at Sarah World. I'm not kidding you. That is my number one goal in life in dentistry. I've spoken well, most of the big stages. I have not applied to any major conference like a, a Hinman or uh, uh, Greater New York or a CDA. Not that I wouldn't love to speak at them, but my number one goal in life is to speak at Serona World. I love everything that they're doing. They're bringing like every major celebrity to their event. My pockets are not that deep yet, right? So I can't do that on cruise ships. We'll bring we'll bring the the back then speaker or, or not back then speaker, the back then celebrity. But I can't bring. Uh, uh, um, these huge Will Smith, like who brings Will Smith to their concert? What? <laughs> I think that's just absolutely amazing, but I love what they're doing. They're creating an experience. That is why they're growing, right? We are creating an experience on water. That is why we're growing, right? So here's the dilemma that we got put in, Brian. Um, so we said early on, like the, the, the companies that come on board, come on the cruise ship, we would offer them exclusivity and we would never go over 25 vendor partners, right? And then here's another thing that happened. Nobody knew who Elijah Desmond was at all. Nobody knew about Smiles at Sea. And then all of a sudden, overnight, when Smiles at Sea got launched, I had all of these speakers that wanted to speak on Smiles at Sea. Now, let me go ahead and rewind back. Uh, we'll call it, this is 2019. Let's go back to 2014. 
I was speaking for Align Technology, and then I got recruited from Strauman. And in 2016, I stopped after speaking in about 100 cities between Align and Strauman. I went independent as a speaker. Now, when I went independent, I would go out to meeting planners and I would say, hey, my name's Elijah Desmond. I'm a motivational speaker. I would love to speak at your conference. And I'm like outside of the box speaker. I bring crazy energy, but people didn't really know who I was. So they would blow me off. They would say things like, well, we're booked out for about two years, but you can apply on our website, right? And so I would kind of feel like kind of offended or I wasn't good enough. And so, you know, it doesn't feel that good. You don't like, you don't like to be blown off, right, Brian? Well, so I, 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 nobody does. Nobody okay. does. Nobody does. Nobody does. So I had to have. A, I needed a solution. So, so, so I'm like, all right. Well, I'm gonna have. Now I got my own conference. Okay. So what happened was, is I began getting all these friends in the industry, and they wanted to, but they they say they hit me with that hard question. Hey, Elijah, man, I really would love to speak on your cruise ship, and I would hit them with, well, listen, buddy. You know, it's 2019. We'll say this year, we'll speed it up to this year. It's 2019. I'm booked out till 2021, but you can go on my website um, and apply. See, now all of a sudden I'm the jerk, <laughs> right? So I needed to have a solution. So what we did is, is we had to get really innovative. So me and, and my, my partner with Dentistry's Got Talent, Jamie Amos, we have created a solution. So what we did was, is we brought together technology social media, marketing, and dental conferences and put them onto an online platform. And now we have something like an American Idol, a TED Talk, and, and essentially social media coming together. So we have Dentistry's Got Talent where there's 50 speakers that compete speaking for 10 minutes each and giving CE. So they're, they're talking about a specific topic and there's say five speakers in one hour and there's judges that are on stage figuring out who makes it to the final round and the winner of that they speak on the cruise the final year but it's all live it's all free ce and guess what in between the different ce courses each hour we have full-blown commercials for our vendor partners so now i can bring on all the vendors in the world right we have like dental tv commercials in between all of the different um the courses so now we've taken a step further and we're doing like a documentary series and a behind the scenes footage to where we're actually flying out to all the speakers homes and like getting drone footage of them and their families and their their documentary their whole like um their why their purpose their topics them like getting trained with their coach like a, a full minute brand video before they get on stage to speak and um, and then all of the vendors, they're there to meet the key opinion, the future key opinion leaders or the speakers who are trying to stay relevant in dentistry. They're there to meet them, to get new influencers in dentistry. And the crazy thing is, is some speakers that have been speaking for 20, 30 years, I call them the OGs of dentistry. Some of them are like, I don't know if I want to compete. I don't like a competition. But then they, they watch this and they see, they're like, well, man. I could speak for 10 minutes and reach more people than I could have reached in 10 years traveling on planes to these conferences. And so now I have all of the scouts of all these meetings that are they're listening on their on their smartphone and watching Dentistry's Got Talent and getting all the recruiting done essentially. And these speakers that are getting all this exposure to all of these companies like from their smartphone and getting free CE. So in my opinion, this is the future. Next is augmented reality where you're going to have a, 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 a person pop up in your living room that's on stage at my event in New York City next uh, 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 October on the, on, the, on the 6th and the 7th. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not really going to happen, but maybe in two, three years. Oh, oh you, you, you know, I have a, you know, I, 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 one of my tech companies is, Opera VR, so we do tons with VR and augmented reality. Uh -oh. we, we can talk afterwards about that one. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see something that you guys heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to pause you for a second because I, so I, when you were speaking and telling your amazing story and and what you're working on and what you're doing, I think it would be worth our audience to after I kind of put what I, the way I perceived what you said, go back and listen to it again. Because 
I think you basically described to people some secrets of success yeah. that through telling your story. One, uh, you were incredibly authentic and transparent. You're talking about where you think you made a mistake in limiting the number of, of vendors you had and yeah. then how you overcame it. So authenticity, transparency, plus you're enthusiastic, right? Sales is a transfer of enthusiasm. And when people were told you no, you didn't just go and shriek in the, you know, shrink in the corner. Right. You actually took action on it and innovated past solutions, right. you know, and then, and, and, and so, so I, I think that is basically a recipe for success and you've proven, proven that. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and then when you were talking, you know, you said that you're doing uh your CE is about the experience. So I think it would be very easy, just like when people think of VR and they think of it as a gadget or a toy, not a therapeutic device, they're yeah. wrong, right? Uh, it would be very wrong. And I, and I made this mistake. Uh, I told you that when, it, when I think last time I talked to you, I totally, when I was thinking of like smiles at sea, mm -hmm. it sounds like a to, to some hardcore clinician, like I, I would like to say that I am, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that it does, it sounds like a gimmick, but it's, but you're, it's the real deal. Mm -hmm. And your experience truly, it's the smile that see the partying is, is kind of a Trojan horse because you described the people that you're bringing. You're mm -hmm. all about the community. Yes. Uh, and that's what the experience is. Am, am I right? Yeah. Hundred percent. We stress community and collaboration, uh, and and that's what it's all about. I mean, it's a family. It's a family, and you don't get to build relationships like that anywhere. After the meetings, what do you do? You go to dinner. You go to your small party of eight or party of twelve table. You disperse. You you don't. You're trapped on a on a cruise ship. You build relationships. You go deep in those relationships, and and it's it's kind of like adult camp. Right, right. So when you're a kid, you go to camp and those, those memories are forever. It's the same, same exact thing here. Like the speakers, you know, they speak, they get off stage, they fly to the next city. They're trapped on the ship. So you get to meet all of the people that you always wanted to know and build deep relationships. You get to form connections and then you look forward to that year after year after year. That's amazing. You are doing so many cool things, man. Uh, so where can people go to find more information about both Smiles at Sea and Dentistry's Got Talent? Um, so Smiles at Sea, you can go to the smilesatsea.com and Dentistry's Got Talent is smilesatsealive.com. Thank you for listening to this special episode of the Operatory Podcast, part two of our amazing interview with Elijah Desmond, the amazing brain behind Smiles at Sea, where we go deep into the why behind the man himself. I also want to remind you to rate and review us wherever you're listening to this podcast. If you have suggestions or comments, please visit theoperatory.com and drop us a line. Again, I'm Dr. Brian Laskin, host of The Operatory. Thanks for listening. I look forward to speaking with you next week.